and welcome to the Second Stringer Show. It's Wednesday, May 24th. And we've only got two days till Memorial Day weekend. Two days till Memorial Day weekend. I always thought it was funny that they called it Memorial Day weekend. Because it's pretty much the one weekend of the year that no one remembers. And I, along with many others, will spend this weekend honoring those that put their life on the line to protect our lives and freedoms. By drinking mass quantities of beer and eating an ungodly amount of hot dogs. Seriously, this is one of the best weekends of the year. And what gets lost in it is that it's dedicated to our nation's finest. So when you start your day by shotgunning a beer at 8 a.m., thank the Marines. When you throw up your fifth hot dog to make room for your eighth margarita, think of the Army. When you wear so much goddamn red, white, and blue you make Uncle Sam look underdressed, take a salute to the Air Force. And finally, when you wake up hungover as shit on Monday, but you can go back to sleep because you don't have work, you better thank God for the Navy. Because this is America. And while we may remain divided on a lot of issues, we can all agree on one thing. Memorial Day weekend kicks ass. So here's to you, America's finest. I'm proud to destroy my body because that's what you allow me to do. Ugh. For the troops. Moving on, it's time for another Timmy tantrum. Today's topic is being yourself. I was minding my own business on the internet today, scouring it for informative articles for the show. Like one that I saw that said, A small child gets lost in a nursery, and you won't believe what happens next. And I was like, what? It turns out, I totally believe what happened next. One of the staff members just returned him to his mom. Anyways, that's not the point. While I was searching, I came across an article about Priyanka Chopra, a super talented actress and flat out one of the most breathtaking women in the world. The article was titled, Priyanka Chopra, on when she decided to be okay with me. <sighs> Which I was so relieved to hear, because I was starting to worry that she was getting uncomfortable in her own body. In the article she explains, When I was at least 25, I said, My body looks a certain way, my hair is not perfect, but I decided I'd be okay with me. Oh, well, you hear that, struggling unconfident girls? Even if your hair isn't perfect, you'll still be fine. Just as long as it's only that, though. Because if you have anything else with wrong with you, oh my god, you're fucked! <laughs> she goes on to say, You can teach yourself confidence. I was a gawky teenager. I was uncomfortable with my body and the way I looked. Oh, you see, young girls? You can just teach yourself confidence. Look at Priyanka. She went through that phase that every girl go through with her body. You know, that awkward phase where you win Miss Universe at the age of 18? <laughs> Every girl goes through that. Look, I'm all for being comfortable in your own skin, but I'm tired of hearing it from people who look like this. It's like Tiger Woods giving you golf lessons and saying, Hey, just hit the ball. Uh, Tiger? I'm fucking trying. When I was younger and struggling to get girls, I don't think it would have helped to have Ryan Reynolds walk up to me and say, Hey man, just teach yourself confidence. Alright, good talk. Being comfortable in your own skin should only be reserved for average looking people, like myself. See? I'm totally comfortable in my own skin. And my body definitely doesn't look like it has a face. Oh god damn it! Look, young people, take it from me. You shouldn't be taking advice from people you want to look like. You should be taking advice from people you're going to look like. Listen man, I know it's tough right now. You're vaguely heavy with no face. You have zero value on the sexual marketplace. You feel invisible to the girls in school because you are. But it gets better because you all grow up and you pretty much look just like this your whole life. And they don't. Their options start running out really fast and you're gonna be there. As long as you stay relatively employed and washed, you're gonna be amazing in your 40s. You're gonna be the you're gonna be the branch that she can grab before she hits the ground. It's, it's, it's gonna be so great. It just takes time for her circumstances to match your looks, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. When real shit matters, you're gonna be the sexiest motherfucker in the world. <laughs>